Do you typically find it difficult to sift through all the new pieces that come out every single week in high street fashion? Well, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a Zara haul and I'm going to walk you through my thought process on how I pick the best pieces. Hello, my name is Amy and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And as much as I would love to avoid fast fashion completely, it is not always possible. And honestly speaking, I found so many good pieces this time. The fit is better, the material is better. Of course, you still need to pick and choose because with Zara, it is always a hit or a miss. I have a total of nine items from Zara to show you and a few that are coming their way as well. So I'm gonna be sharing those with you as well. But I also wanted to show you these new silk items. Thank you, Lily Silk, for sending me these beautiful items. So this time I wanted to try their underwear. I'm already a big fan of their pillowcases, of their blouses. And so these are lace shorts. They're kind of like boxers white cream color and then also finally a black one so these will be super comfortable to sleep at night even in the winter i still wear shorts when i go to bed i've also decided to try some underwear and they come packaged in ziploc bags like these these are also lace detailed so that one was in a nude color and then this one is in a salmon color as well as a gray color so if you didn't know, Lily Silk not only makes clothing, but they also make underwear and sleepwear. I also wanted to get just some classic underwear. So this is just their, um, I guess, yeah, the classic bikini style, which is my go-to on an everyday basis. So there's a five of them and they're all really cutely packaged. They also sent me a mask. If you're interested in getting some silk masks, for just casual wear. Of course, these are not medical grade. On me, it's actually a little big. I will have to sew it down to make it smaller. If you're interested in any of the items that I show, I will have each and every one linked down below. So starting with a jacket that you've already seen me wear in a previous video. This is a beautiful lavender color jacket or blazer that looks like a Balmain style. Again, I'm gonna be linking every single item down below. And in terms of sizing, I always take the smallest sizing available. So you don't have to wonder what size I'm taking. Whatever the smallest is, that's what I take because in Zara, usually their size is quite large. And even the smallest size is still just maybe a bit oversized on me. But it's acceptable when it's not an oversized fit already. I'm 5'4", which means that I'm still tall enough to be able to pull off most things if they're regular fit, not if they're oversized fit. And sometimes the sleeve is just a little long on me. So with this jacket, I find that because it is cut really well, the fabric is actually a cotton woven fabric that looks like a tweed from afar. A lot of lavender, a lot of green, and a lot of white actually. I bought so many white items. So the second item is this beautiful, very chunky cardigan with pockets. And I've worn this in a previous video that you've seen recently. This beautiful cardigan, what I like about it is how chunky and expensive it looks. Zara can sometimes be very expensive, but can also be affordable. So depending on the piece, it may make sense to get it or not. So with this one, it was $59.90, which I thought was reasonable for such a chunky knit. And there is some wool content in it. This blazer you've seen me wear on last week's video. So as you can see, it is cinched in at the waist with a one button closure. And it's a pretty simple jacket. Jacket. It doesn't have any pockets or anything, but what I really liked about this one is the color and the silhouette. Also, this is part of their limited edition collection. I've noticed that they've started this limited edition line, which a lot of the pieces in there either have much better cut or design, uh, just something unique to it, or the material is a lot more superior. So as with this one, there is a high content of wool in this and the fabric is very luxurious feeling and the color of this oatmeal is really, really nice and so flattering for a lot of skin tone in my opinion. This is a rather long jacket, but the fact that it is cinched in at the waist gives off this really sophisticated look. This year's trend is definitely a strong shoulder, but cinched in at the waist, not just boxy boxy looking like a square so definitely more of an inverted triangle uh, sort of trend which is kind of what you're getting with this jacket a little bit it is 
cinching at the waist and flaring out uh, which is so so pretty and feminine but at the same time really comfortable because of the broader shoulder with a little bit of shoulder pads the sleeves are slightly long on me but that's just because I have pretty short arms and I'm not the tallest person out there uh, but I can still pull it off I can definitely style this as a regular jacket but also as a blazer dress which I really really love the look of if you're browsing the website a blazer that you might have overlooked is definitely this one with this blazer it's a little deceiving because on the model it looks like really really wide on her shoulder but I did notice on the photo when it was uh, the jacket alone that it was quite cinched in or at least it looked cinched in it wasn't just like a rectangle shape so I thought I would give it a try, especially seeing that the material was a 100% cotton velvet. Yes, this is a beautiful velvet material. It's very soft with black colored buttons and I just styled it with my Chanel brooch from a few seasons back and I just feel like the look is so, so good, especially because the lapels are so well made and the the jacket itself feels more expensive than it is. I definitely prefer when a fabric is more on the natural side. So anytime you have a cotton blend or a wool blend, those are the fabric that I prefer. And if it's synthetic, then viscose is usually a good material because it feels more luxurious than polyester or nylon. Uh, but some polyester can still be really decent. What did I tell you about the white or the light color theme? This is another beautiful jacket that I was so impressed with and that you might have overlooked because the modeling shot on the Zara website is not the most uh, like realistic to look at when you want to think about on how it looks on your body but I saw that this has a drop shoulder slightly cropped and slightly sort of oversized but not too much and I just decided to give it a try especially looking at the material that it has a high content of wool again uh, so this one is another one of those really pretty ones that you will probably overlook but the details are quite simple with a rounded sort of lapel and just uh, some gold button details and simple pockets it really gives me chanel vibes this one because of well if you've seen the collection the new collection you will understand in fact i'm going to be doing a reaction video to that this next one is so super adorable uh, even on the model it looked really really cute on her it looked like just a little sweater or you can wear it as a cardigan which is what i would do because uh, honestly speaking, these buttons, they're really, really pretty, so they're bejeweled, but they are such a pain to button them up. You will know exactly what I mean if you try to button these flower shape through a small little buttonhole. It's just so difficult and so cumbersome. You would not even want to do it unless you're going for that look specifically for the entire day, then maybe it's worth the effort. But for me, I'm just going to be wearing this as a little cardigan, which I think because of the contrasting color and elongated lapel, it really gives this extra, almost like a little handkerchief it is a wool blend again with a small amount of wool content in it. All in all, I just feel like the plushiness of it, the thickness of it, and the price of it was, you know, reasonable and it's really, really cute. So this one is more of a neutral color. It says green, which I didn't even notice until I received it. It has kind of a green undertone with oversized puffy sleeves and it is a drop shoulder again. So it's quite oversized. It is cropped. It is similar material content as the previous one. This one is a little softer. It is a snap button, so you can definitely button them and unbutton easily. So but... this is a pair of leather gloves. And what's so special about them is that they're kind of the, um, I don't even know how to call them, but the mini size gloves, slightly cropped, and the shape is so very, very nice. It really does remind me of Karl Lagerfeld's half glove. It feels very comfortable. Apparently this is 100% goat skin. I've got mine in the size medium. It only comes in medium or large. It really does allow you to wear your jewelry on your wrist without getting all tangled on the glove. And of course, this is not going to be like your warmest pair of gloves, but they are very stylish and I really like the look of it. So I do highly recommend it. In fact, this one was really hard to get. Every time it came back in stock, it was sold out right away. So if you do see it and you like it, 
get it right away and just check out because these were quite hard to get. I feel like these would be a sellout. I turned off my camera, thought that I was done, removed my brooch, was about to get out of my clothes only to realize that I forgot this sweatshirt. By the way, I removed the brooch and this fabric, this suede, ish fabric it doesn't leave uh, a hole in it that's good to know right that it doesn't leave any marks on your fabric even with a pin uh, through the fabric i love a good sweatshirt especially in the winters i just live in them especially when i don't really know what to wear and i just need to go somewhere for a quick errand and these ones are super cool they are these really trendy shoulder pads inspired from the frankie shop and um, yeah, it's just really, really cool. Very simple sweatshirt with a exaggerated shoulder detail. So it's kind of sewn in. There's like a huge shoulder pad underneath. I just like it because of the shape and um, it's pretty comfortable and it's just, just pretty easy to wear. You just style it with like a long necklace and a pair of jeans and you're good to go. The only two items that I decided not to keep are two black jacket this one is also part of their limited edition line and why i was really attracted to this is because of the shiny satin lapel and it just looks like a simple throw over jacket except that it did look too boxy on me on the model it definitely looked okay and especially because she cinched in her sleeve so i couldn't really tell but um, I guess I should have been able to tell from this picture, which is you can definitely tell that it's more of a boxy, not even like it's not really a shapely jacket. Um, it was OK on me, but definitely way too long and too boxy for my body frame. So with this one, uh, the fit is very similar to the purple jacket, except for the material. So with this one, it's more of a sort of slippery, uh, shiny material and it's not bad actually by any means, but sh with shiny material, it can sometimes look cheap as well. So that's that's where I wasn't so happy about. It just looked a little cheap, especially with black. That's why I did not end up keeping it. But if you did like the shape of this and you are uh, not looking for a textured jacket, but more for a shinier sort of material, like a smooth material and in black, which is a very good neutral, uh, then you would probably like this one. So a few of the items that I have not received yet and they're just on their way is this crop blazer and uh, skirt combo. Again, it looks slightly boxy on the on the model and of course she's quite tall and uh, probably has broader shoulder than me. But at the very least, the sleeves looks a little short on her, so it probably will fit me okay. And because it is a crop style, it will probably just look like a normal jacket on me. So hopefully the material will feel comfortable and nice because that's definitely a requirement of mine. Another jacket that I am waiting on is this one. So this one looks exactly like the purple one that I showed you. I would assume that it would fit quite similar even on the model it looks really fitted on her so that's good news and it's just the material is slightly different because the purple one is 100% cotton whereas this one is a blend I know that the purple cardigan is sold out in a lot of places so if you want something similar it's not exactly the same there is this new one which is the blue oversized cardigan with puffy sleeves and it's a drop shoulder style I think this one is promising, so you could possibly try this one. I hope that you enjoy me walking you through my thought process, especially when picking things from the high street. Think about whether you're going to keep wearing them again and again. At the end of the day, cost per wear and comfort is what matters. If you're going to keep on wearing it, then it becomes sustainable for you. And therefore, it is okay to sometimes buy fast fashion as long as we're not constantly adding which i'm trying my best to also not overdo let me know if you want to see a sequel of this or maybe i can just incorporate it into my luxury ready to wear haul i'm also putting a few things up on sale on my instagram so if you're interested in any of my closet items you can definitely check out my instagram at fashionably amy's closet i'm gonna link it down below as well
Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, I would love to have you back. So please do consider subscribing. I'm gonna pop a couple more videos right here and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.